so welcome back to another Nurse Eats. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make this amazing, super, super moist and delicious chicken, a whole chicken. I used to call it a rotisserie chicken in the crock pot, but then I learned that rotisserie actually means like the chicken's already cooked. So this is a raw chicken cooked in the chalk cooked in the chalk pot <laughs> cooked in the crock pot it, it is so delicious it makes so much meat so it's great for families or leftovers and you can do so much with it when it's done you can eat it plain you can put on sandwiches you can make buffalo chicken dip you can make so many things so stay tuned for this amazing nurse eats video so the first thing you want to do is ball up some aluminum foil and put it in the bottom of your crock pot to kind of create a little lift and then you're just going to take your whole chicken um, to put in the crock pot. So don't mind the fact that my chicken is kind of like sticking out of the crock pot a little bit. Um, that's fine, it, mine's still a little frozen and so when it kind of gets more warm, it'll be a little bit more bendy and it can get pushed down. But the lid can still fit on, which is all that matters. So then you're just gonna take your favorite seasonings. My favorite to use are is this rubbed sage. Sage reminds me of Thanksgiving time, so it's really good. Oh, and don't mind my aluminum bowls. They actually didn't fit. Um, I normally use them, but this chicken's too big. So use these if you can't, whatever, it's fine. And then I'm going to use this um, Montreal chicken seasoning. And you're just going to cover the whole chicken and then cover it and cook it for eight hours on low. So you can see I heavily covered my chicken in seasonings and then I kind of rubbed it in with my hands. And then you're just going to cover it. And you want to use a lot of seasonings because whoop, my lid's kind of funky whatever. Uh, you want to use a lot of seasonings because when you're done with the chicken, you can take all the bones and scraps and what you don't eat, put it back in the pot with all the oily, greasy juice that comes out of it, and then add in a little bit of water, cook it for like 12 hours overnight on low, and then you have a chicken broth that you can freeze and use in soups, and it is so good. It's the best chicken broth ever. And there you guys have it, a whole rotisserie chicken that was done in the crock pot. And it is so juicy and so delicious and you guys are going to love it. And a little bonus clip for you if you take all of the leftover chicken and bones and put it back in the crock pot with all the juice and with a couple cups of water, cook it on low overnight and then in the morning drain out all of the juices and discard all the bones and then you'll have an amazing chicken broth. I freeze mine, I use it in my soups and it is amazing. So try that out and let me know what you think. Uh, I just wanted to keep this video very short and casual for you guys, give you something quick and easy to do. It seriously takes like five minutes, seriously, not even that. So I hope you try this recipe out. If you do, make sure you, sure you hashtag Nurse Eats RN on your social media and tag me so I can check it out. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.